So let's make some practical application of what we've learned about transformer turns ratio testing. Let's start with some features of the test set. The first, and maybe one of the most important, is the equipment ground. As you can see here, it's an external connection to the test equipment, uh, grounding the outer case of the equipment. We also have a ground that we get through the power cord to the instrument. It's supplies a third prong which is the ground uh, connection to the instrument and this allows us to have the safety feature as well as a reference for the instrument and the measurements that are being made. Additionally we have an emergency stop button if you just simply press that if anything were to be wrong then you can twist and release it you'll notice the display shows that the emergency stop button was pressed and it would interrupt the output. Additionally, we want to go to the connections for the uh, high side and low side of the transformer, H being primary, X being secondary. Here's the H side. Simply center it over the keyed connector and then twist to lock it in place. So again, this is the X leads for the secondary of the transformer. We're going to center it over the keyed connector, turn it till it falls in place and then twist the collar until it locks in place. Now we have that all uh, situated. Notice also indicators that says the output's energized as well as one that says you're safe to connect or disconnect at this time. Okay, so the connections of the test leads, you'll notice all of the uh, high side leads have red insulated handles. This is the H1 lead, then the H2. We're connecting to the corresponding terminal of the transformer, and then the H3 lead as well. Now this is a delta, so there is no neutral. Here's the neutral lead, so just to keep it out of the way and everything, we're just gonna go ahead and clamp it onto the insulation of one of the other terminals. So it has no connection, it's just uh, out of the way. Now we're going to do the same thing on the secondary side of the transformer. You notice X1 was connected to the uh, corresponding terminal. This is the X2 lead and then the X3 lead being connected to the X3 terminal. Again, we have a neutral lead. It's not being used because it's a delta, so we'll just clamp it onto the insulation of one of the handles of the other test leads. So there you have your test connections. We're ready to go and see if we can do a test. So we're going to go in, we're going to select a new transformer. As we do that, it's going to ask for the configuration of the transformer. We know that this is a delta-delta transformer, so the far left side is going to be the primary. We'll select a delta and then just on the other side of the colon is going to be your secondary side. We're going to, once again, select a delta. And then it, the numbers relate to a phase relationship between the primary and secondary. And because there is no phase shift, we're simply going to select zero to indicate that. Notice the test voltage is set to auto and I think we're all set up to go. So now we're just gonna go press the go button and then it's gonna got a couple of questions for us. Do you wanna test each phase at a time and stop in between or would you just like to simply sequentially test all those? That's what we're going to do is sequentially test them all. But we've pressed the emergency stop button. So we get that indication. We have to go twist that that stop button to release it and then press OK to clear that message on the test set. And once again, we're going to have to tell it to go do those tests. Now it's performing those tests. We had calculated some acceptable ratios and everything. The calculated nameplate ratio was 1.4574, if I recall correctly. And uh, so it's listing what each phase has come up with for a ratio. Those look very close. Once we've gotten these test results, notice that we've gotten to a safe uh, indication on our test set, meaning the test has been concluded. At this point, we can do some other things. If we wanted to, we can print the test results, and you'll see that it 
prints those out to the side. This is one manufacturer's equipment. Uh, you'll notice if you can look at the indications there, we've uh, preserved the test results as well as any information that we put in relating to this test. If you wanted to, you could, could have put in the primary and secondary voltages and it would have calculated a percent deviation. What's acceptable is 0.5%. We can also save these test results and if you press save, it's going to come up and ask you for a transformer name. Just for practical purposes here, I'm just going to put in ProTec. And then when I hit enter, it's going to ask me for additional information. What's the transformer serial number? I'm just not going to put that in at this time, but you'll notice at the top that the transformer is now labeled ProTec. We can go into archive and you'll see that it's the only test results in there. And if we select all, we could have just touched the one or select all. And then we can recall that. Now you notice there's no test results in there because it's looking at it in terms of all the information leading up to the test. If we wanted to, we could go back and recall those test results. And uh, now you're, you're seeing those at this time. So this test is done. All of our test results seem to fall well within the 0.5% and you have performed a transformer turns ratiometer test.